Um, so let's go to load the video. Oh, it's just going to take a second here. So this is a short video, about 15 seconds. And let's move or drag this video down to the video track. Now, I have three scenes on this video. Um, let me show you that. So this is the first scene. I'm not going to do anything to this one. The second scene, this is what I want to crop. And I'm not going to do anything to the third scene, which is right this one. So let's go back to the second scene, which is this one. And let's say I am interested to just uh, show what's surrounding this rock on my video. So I don't want to show this whole thing, just what's surrounding on this rock. Just on the second scene. I don't want to touch the first scene or the last scene. Um, so basically, uh, if I try to crop, if I go to video effect, motion and transform, and crop, if I do it now here, it will apply it to the whole video. The first scene and the last scene will be impacted and will be cropped which I don't want to do that I just want to crop the middle uh, or the second scene so I'm not gonna crop now all I'm gonna do is split this video into three sections basically isolate the second scene from the rest so let's see exactly the transition from the first scene to the second scene so it's almost here now if I want to be more precise I use the next frame and previous frame so sorry I hit play instead of next frame Okay, previous, next. So this is where the transition occurred. So I'm going to split it. So I separated the first scene from the rest of the movie. Um, now let's do the same thing for the end of the second scene. When or where does it happen right here okay same thing I'm just gonna do a next frame next frame okay so let me split it here boom okay so you see here what's highlighted in green just the video section that I want to crop now if I go video effect motion transforms and crop then I have as you see here and hopefully you can it's clear I have kind of a border line here or square around my video so I can go to the corner and you see how the cursor changes and I can click on that and drag it okay and I can do the same thing for this corner and drag it. So let's say this is this is what I'm interested on seeing on my last video. Don't get confused here uh, just because my cursor here is at the end, but it doesn't mean that the last scene was affected. Um, the software is still applying the cropping. Oh, it should be done now okay so let's play this let's play this and see I'm not done yet but let's play this and see what do I have so this is the beginning I play it from here and once it goes to the second scene you would see the cropping 
Hmm, that's interesting. I said I'm not done yet because it doesn't really look good to have you know everything black here and, and only this section showing on my screen so basically I want this screen here or this section of the video to be fit on the full screen okay so how do I do that well I did the cropping the next step is when I go to the video effect transform two functions I'm gonna be using position and scale and this is just you know trying trial and error you know I'm gonna try and see if it's gonna fit so let's start by let's start by position okay I could have started by scale well, let's start with, with position I'm gonna try to bring this to the middle um, see. okay you see that it's moving now not in the right direction that I want um, this may take a little bit of time so as you see here I can just move this cursor see where this section see how it moved there now that was vertical let's do horizontal mm, I want it to be somewhere in the middle just gonna keep moving okay, I think you know let's let's stop it here okay because I'm gonna have to come back to it now this was the position it was not at all in the middle there let's move it again and again and again as you see here I'm just moving these bars here to play with the position of my section of the video now if I go to scale that's when I'm gonna make this larger and as you see here hopefully you can see it there is kind of a um, this kind of a uh, rectangular here and there are three corners that, can, that I can use to change the size of this section of the video. I can either do that, you know, just play with these three corners, or I can change these numbers, or I can scroll here. Let's try this one. Or I prefer to start with this one. You see, you see how it says scale width? 100% scale height I can change that and go above 100 see how it's changing 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 now I went a little bit too far because I shouldn't be outside yes okay now I want to change also the position remember I have selected scale in this window along scale I have also position I can also play with position so let's move this a little bit to the left okay I think it could be a little bit too far Um, this is where I am right now and I did this before um, just before I show you now I know exactly where is the correct settings 
Um, so basically, those are the settings. Okay. See how now it fits the full screen. I can close this one. And let me play the video. Let me go back all the way to the beginning. I'm going to play you the video and you can see. See how it transitioned here? Yeah, so um, let's go back to just to show you how the original movie used to look like. Um, let's open it with this other media. See, you had the full screen. And now I only have what's surrounding the rock. So I hope that this was a uh, good tutorial for you guys and that you have learned how you can crop and resize the video. Thank you very much for watching.